Hello everybody, this is Nerf Gun Reviewer 331 here today. Still sick as always. Or not uh, not as always, but still sick with the common cold. I'm starting to get better, but today's I'm just gonna get right into the video. Today's uh, review is the, on the Busby Predator uh, from Busby. I think these this is the Air Warriors. Yeah, the Air Warriors Busby Predator. This is kind of like the Range Master, uh, the Extreme Range Master, whatever you call it. I got the original Range Master from Busby, where you have to like pull this back and then pump it up a few times before you can shoot. This is spring powered, since I can just load dart in, push it in, aim, and there you have it. The box claims to have 30 feet, uh, uh, a 30 feet distance or range or whatever. And if I'm still sick, I'm, I'm going to mention this right now, I'm still sick. I'm getting better, but I'm still sick. So if I screw up the video in any way, shape, or form, just let me know. I'll redo the video. But in the meantime, let's get right back into the review. So, this, uh, this Busby gun is basically a sniper rifle. has a detachable scope. As you can see here, it's hard to get it aligned. Yeah, so, so this scope is... A little bit different than the Range Master because the scope ha actually has the like these little lines and everything. But again, it does nothing to perform to make the the gun do better. I think it actually makes the gun do worse, in my opinion. Uh, it can hold one dart in here, only one dart to shoot. It has a little storage compartment down. Try to line it up yeah, right there. So it holds four like darts individually. One here, 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 here. Close that up. Put the, the Busby dart in, pack it back forward, and then shoot. The the really good news about the really really good news about this is still it can still shoot elite darts, which is a plus. If if it means it can shoot Nerf elite darts, that means it can shoot pretty much any other other Nerf dart except Velcro tips. Velcro tips I would have to double check because I don't know for sure. But I know that this is a bolt action uh, a bolt action rifle. It's a one-shotter, so that means you you gotta make every shot count. And it doesn't shoot that very far. It doesn't shoot very far because it's Busby gun and it claims to have 30 feet. 30 feet in my last review about the gun smoke. The gun smoke had like a 30 a 30 foot like distance range, and even that's pretty pretty bad. What I'm seeing, oh, I forgot to grab more darts. Shit. I guess I'll use this one. This is an Arizona dart. This is kind of like a Busby dart. If I were to aim this down here, sorry for the covering, sorry for uh, not showing the ranges, but from from where I'm sitting to that wall over there, it's a, probably a good 30, uh, not, not, probably like 30, probably a good 15, 20 feet. Uh, I just used my, my height as for an example. If I were to lay down and then just like, fl like flip, flap, flip, flop, it'd like, be like, I don't know, 20 feet, 15, 20 feet. Uh, no angle. It's probably a good 10 feet, and with probably with that same dart, I could if I did it angled, it'd be a probably good 20 feet. So the, range wise, this is pretty bad, but it, it does look cool. I like the the style of everything. It doesn't have smoke coming out of it, but it's still pretty cool. And I also like the fact that it's a bolt action. I, I just like the fact that they they actually have bolt action guns, and I like that a lot. Uh, although the scope does nothing, that means you can put Busby attachments, possibly Nerf attachments, onto this, no problem. Um, comparing this to the Range Master, the Range Master you have to pump up at least ten, eight to ten times. You probably don't have enough time to do that. You probably get killed or slain or whatever uh, within a few seconds of doing that. Despite the fact that you're doing this, that's very loud. Not loud on this, but on the Range Master, it's really loud because it's an air tank instead of a spring powered. So, yeah. The Busby Predator, I got this for about 10 15 bucks at Walmart. I don't remember the exact price, but it was from a 10 to a $15 price range, US dollars. Comes with a scope, four darts, and the gun itself, no batteries required, which is a plus. I'm not saying that all like all battery powered guns are bad. I'm just saying like some of them are pretty bad. For example, Gunsmoke. Gunsmoke was pretty crappy. Gave me a crappy result, and I wasted three AA batteries. With that being said, uh, I'm gonna go right to the pros and cons. Um, the pros, 
it reminds me from a Team Fortress 2 sniper. Sorry to bring up video games in this, but it just reminds me of a Team Fortress 2 sniper uh, rifle, kind of. The scope really looks really cool and well designed. It's not functional, but it looks really cool. It'd make a good, a good prop. And it's detachable, so if you don't want a scope, you're like, oh, I don't like scopes. <laughs> if you don't like scopes, just throw it over there. But uh, it actually also reminds me of Last of Us uh, bolt action rifle. And here you go, here's what it looks like down the barrel. If I pull that down. Yep. So, uh, another pro is that it has the convenient ammo dart holder, which is like four darts. Elite darts and any type of nerf dart will fit in this, no problem. You just have to put the tip, uh, you have to put the, the back end first before you put, uh, and I'll put the tip in first because tip in would probably get it stuck or something like that. The, uh, the dart door is pretty loose. I don't like that a lot, but it's not a bad idea. I mean, I mean, you, at least you get like four darts of storage before you like have to go through your pockets or go through your tactical vest or whatever. Um, what else? Uh, I already mentioned it had a tactical rail on top. I do not know if nerf attachments might work on this, but it may or may not. I don't know. Uh, it's a bolt action. I like bolt actions a lot, so I'm just going to give it like an extra 0.1 point, which is not that big of a difference. I'm not trying to make it like bias or anything. I just like bolt actions because it looks really cool. Um, I like the barrel. They ex like the longer, like this. This long barrel with the gun and everything just reminds me of a, a really cool sniper rifle, bolt action rifle from Last of Us. Uh, performance wise, the ammo capacity is about five darts, one for shooting, one for storage, or four for storage, one for shooting. There we go, five darts. So it's, it's about as much as, uh, I would say it's pretty good. Rate of fire is pretty slow. I mean, if you were to have four darts here, you have to put the dart in, then you have to you know, scramble to get that, lap, that first, the, the, the next dart out of the uh, storage compartment, pull it out, close the door, put it in, and then pull the trigger in, it's probably like a good 5-10 seconds of reloading. If you have the dart right in your hand that's fine, but uh, if we're using the storage compartment then it's going to be probably like a good 5-10 seconds, it's not that good. Uh, rate of fire reload time is actually oh rate of, okay so rate of fire rate of fire and reload time is actually pretty bad because the re, like I said the reload time is slow it's like five ten seconds rate of fire you can't just do that would be cool if you could do that if you just pull it back and then pull it and then pull it back and just it would be like clip system that would be really cool but sadly Busby has not done that yet. That would be cool if they did, but they haven't, so it sucks. The range, uh, if we're using just what came with the gun, I would say it's, it's decent. It's not great, it's not bad, it's just decent. Claims have 30 feet. I think it would get like a good 35, 40 feet, but that's just an estimate, and I don't think it would, I don't think it would, it would achieve those ranges. The accuracy is actually pretty good, though. If you're if if your target's within thirty feet or less, you're gonna hit it dead on. So yeah. Uh, as far as cons go, I'm, I'm bouncing all over the place on this review. I'm sorry for that. I'm still sick in in my head and everything. I got like stuffy nose and everything. Uh, let's see. So as far as cons go, and so, again, sorry for bouncing around. As far as cons go, the scope doesn't work. It's not functional, but it looks cool. It's always a good thing. If it looks cool, that's fine. You don't want to like a crappy looking scope and then go like, oh, I paid ten bucks for this. This is stupid. No, I'm just kidding. But I, what I don't like is that the door. You, you have this. It's very loose and everything. I don't like that a lot, but it's not that bad. You usually do that, like like flip it open or flip it closed or something like that. The handles. The handle actually fits my hand pretty well, and this is for like a, a eight or ten year old hands, and it actually fits my hand pretty well. The trigger is nice and smooth. I, I actually don't mind having my finger all the way in. <laughs> That's what she said. But uh, um, yeah. So, am I recording this still? Oh yeah, I'm still recording. Okay. I, I had a feeling I wasn't recording, so I had to double check. Um. 
The one thing I also don't like about this is it's a, it's a one-shot bolt action. I mean, it would be pretty cool if uh, Busby had their own clip, clip system. That would be really cool. That would be interesting to watch and see. But they don't. They actually have Busby shells and clips, but I want I wanted to see like a, a dark gun that without the clip. Or no, no without the clip. Without the shells. Without the shells and without the specialized shell clip. Just have the, the clip that uses darts. That would be pretty cool. Like Nerf does for end strike and end strike elite. Uh accuracy, range. The specialty. The specialty on this, it, it's a it's a pretty cool looking rifle. The scope actually can detach easily, and uh, it has, it's like it has a, a built-in storage compartment which the range master does not have. And the price is ten bucks for one of these, and this is ten bucks. You could get three of these for the price of a range master. A range master is probably like thirty bucks. So, without further ado, I'll end the video now. I guess I give this overall video, this overall uh, Busby Predator gun, a good. Uh, 7.5 out of 10. Three, it's like. Th I'm do the math here. Uh, it was like 3.5 stars out of 5 or. No. No, I screwed up on the math on that one. I'm just going to call it 7.5 stars out of 10. <sighs> the the Panther. I called it the Panther. The Predator. There we go. The Predator Busby sniper rifle. Looks really cool. The ranges are pretty bad, but with elite darts, they go a little bit further, a lot further, than the Busby darts. So if you have elite darts and you want to use it with this gun, go right ahead. That is it for this Busby gun review. I, the next up is the next and last Busby gun I'm going to be reviewing. It's called the Blazooka. It's basically like a handheld uh, rocket launcher. It's like the Titan from Nerf, but it's like it's like a mini miniaturized form. And can shoot uh, any type of missile you can think of, like BBB arrows, uh, air zone arrows. And can even shoot their own missiles, which are pretty cool. And claims to have 50, about 50 feet in distance. And I think this is the extreme version of it too. Extreme Blazooka from Busby. So stick around for that for that last review. It might come out in a few days or so. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys there.